Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Let's do a random search here for everything. All right. Thank you. Let me tell you a little story about how all this started. When I was president of the Royal in 1979, 40 years ago, it was suggested that we have a barbecue contest. And we thought it over and that sounded like a good idea. I got my friend Jack Kay, an entrepreneurial barbecue, to head up the committee. So we sent out invitations for the first annual American Royal Barbecue. We had it in a parking lot behind the Golden Ox, and 14 men showed up with their Weber cookers, and that was it. What a legacy this contest has, what memories it's made through the years, and thanks to you, what an incredible future lies ahead. How are you doing? Hey, I got a question for you, Harry. Yes. Would you like to do an interview on our radio show? Sure. Uh, just grab, grab me and we'll talk. All right. Gentlemen, this is the legendary Bill Arno, and Bill is a barbecue legend. He got me started in barbecue a few years ago, and he makes great products, sauce and rub, and charcoal, and everything. So, we go for it. My good friend Harry, too. We go back here. Pork tenderloin. Breaded pork tenderloin. Breaded pork tenderloin. It's an Iowa special. thing. Mac and cheese. Hey. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I have them, so. Cheese curds, right? They are, yes, Wisconsin sir. Wisconsin cheese curds, right? Wisconsin's finest. T-Mac. Okay. We're gonna cook for about 450 people. Ribs, brisket, ends, burn ends. Uh, we got some sausage, potato salad, coleslaw. You know all the good stuff that makes the world go around. But guys, you have no idea what it's like to cook a barbecue contest in 110 degree heat with 100 percent humidity. But you guys are able to do it four air conditioners in this room. That's so, what happens when I come into town, Harry. So you gotta cook you know, people. Vegetables, all vegetables, all vegetables, vegetables always require bacon. Always require bacon. That's always a secret. Good vegetables. Helps them slide down easier. <laughs> <laughs> we have a from scratch made uh, green bean casserole. We grilled the green beans. We got grilled mushrooms in here. We got a combination of cream of mushroom, cream of chicken soup, uh, a couple other ingredients uh, for flavor, some salt, some other stuff. Uh, homemade uh, fried onions and uh, all done on the grill. Excellent. All right, first place green beans coming up. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> So keeping your gear clean is very important folks if you're watching this video make sure you clean your water pan when you compete because the water pan has some leftover residue on it when you heat up the water pan that residue can get rancid if your pit has been sitting for a year and it's the first time you're using it I would recommend you use an oven cleaner on it make sure that it's completely pristine I don't clean the inside of my pit but I do make sure that the water pan is clean because we don't want any of the residual oil to be heated and then all that oil probably will flavor the meat uh, not a good thing. Injections are ready. We made some uh, brisket injection, chicken, as well as pork. So we're ready to go. This is going to be the winning formula to win the American Royal. Uh, next entry is, I believe, beans. Beans, all right. Yeah. Beans. Jason will have those going when we get back. We'll get the beans ready to go. Then we got a uh, potato followed up and dessert to finish. Uh, our, our version of a bourbon baked beans. We got four different beans in here. Uh, and a plethora of other ingredients for our sauce, uh, barbecue, ketchup, mustard, Worcestershire, tons of other spices. Uh, you know, we're just trying to get a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy. Uh, always got to have bacon. Uh, so we just, we'll see how it goes. Next one is uh, potato category. So we got about 30-ish 30, 30 minutes until we'll be walking back with our potato turn-in. And then an hour uh, from now, we're, we're looking at the dessert turn-in and that, that finishes up for the day. This is the third out of four entries. Uh, this one is our potato entry. Uh, we did a sweet potato, a twice baked sweet potato, all kinds of good stuff in this one. Sour cream, cheddar cheese, bacon, uh, honey, uh, a couple other different spices too. We went for the, the, the sweet spicy route on this one again. It is twice baked, so we, we, made, a, we made a sweet potato mashed, uh, scooped the insides, mixed all the stuff together, restuffed it, used a pastry bag, piped everything across the top, and then we rebaked it today. Uh, before they went into the box. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Good 
Elvis has left the building. That's right. So our last turn in here, this is four out of four. We have a peach uh, peach streusel. It's kind of like a Carolina style, like a cookie topping. Uh, peach filling, we put a little bit of cranberries, some peach schnapps, brown sugar, butter, a little bit of spices. Once again, go for the little sweet, spicy, a little bit of salt to bring out the flavors on the end. Uh, threw it into a ramekin type dish, topped it with the cookie topping, and then uh, baked it on the grill again to, to crisp up the cookiness. So you got a little bit of a uh, softer bite with the filling, a little bit of crunch with the topping, and you can kind of get all the flavors blended together between the sweet and spicy. So we're hoping this is a, uh, we're hoping this is a good one too. So you see, right, the seam here, like that, right? So the pectoralis profunda is this muscle here. Yes. So it's buried under this uh, fat cap. So I'm running my knife, right, like this, underneath here. See that? I'm running my knife into here. Yep. To isolate the muscle a little bit more. All right, Jason, you trim the next one, okay? So pay attention. Okay. You <laughs> do some work, boy. No, no, I, I gotta train the trainers, right? Yeah, I mean, I gotta train, train them what to do here. You don't need to watch, uh, what do you call, the. Uh, LeBron shoot the shot. You gotta shoot the shot yourself, right? Watching him shoot a thousand shot doesn't help you at all. You gotta pick up the knife and trim it yourself. Yeah, this is uh, point, the point. The point is cut out. Okay, so you see right right now, right? So you look at both sides. Which side is more marble, right? So this side is more marble. Right. So I'm gonna shave it from the back side. Okay. Make sense? I'm shaving, so gonna shave it. But your flat, do you cut your flat down the Yeah, I, 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 okay, no. I, I like to trim it after I cook. This is fine. So what I do is I don't need this part and I don't need this. So this part but comes I'm off. See, I'm gonna take this part off because it's just yeah, it's still too thin. Yeah, yeah. On oh, this one is fine. I, I have a really thick side, so I'm gonna keep it. But I think I take the back end off like that, and I take this this piece off here like that. Got it. Right. Here's to barbecue. Here's to good times. Here's to Kansas City. Here's to barbecue all across America, and here's to the newest Hall of Fame inductees. Cheers, everybody. Woo! Yeah. 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 The girl that Kayla saw you walking across. Oh, Ellen? Yeah. So, Harry, she... In one inch increments all over the pork cut. You know, injection liquid here. A little bit of a uh, pork injection with a bit of phosphate. What did Amazon? I bought that one on Amazon. It was on Amazon. Amazon. Okay, fold it over, stretch the skin, make sure it looks good. So, so you see that the surface has it, so you see that? So just scrape, scrape off the surface. Yeah, I get it. I'm staying hydrated, Harry. There That's what go. I do. Alright, chicken injection, devil meat. Three shots in the middle. Hey everybody, I'm here with Kevin Coleman, the chief grill master from Weber. And you know, when we tell you guys how to cook barbecue, we not only teach you about barbecue wisdom, we teach you about life wisdom. So uh, Kevin likes, what I told him is that when you are between the ages of 20 to 40, your job is to learn from all the masters in the world. So I learned from Kevin, Kevin learns from me. When you're between 40 to 60 years old, you really have to take what you learned in the first 20 years Hone your craft to be the best that you can be in the world. So when you hit an old fart like me at 60, <laughs> you gotta give it all away. So I'm giving it all the way to Kevin, and behind the camera, you and pan over there, we're giving away to the next generation of pitmasters coming behind us. So we want you to take it with you because Mrs. Walton from the Walton family said, you're not measured by what you gather, you are measured by what you leave behind. And that's what life is really about, spreading barbecue love in this world. And that's why he's called the Barbecue Yoda. So uh, my name is Thomas Gearhart. I'm the pit master at Mudville Barbecue from Roseville, California. And yesterday we were the second California team to ever win the American Royal Invitation. We've been doing this for about five years. We started in Virginia in the Mid-Atlantic Barbecue Association. And last summer I relocated back home to California. We've been competing in the California Barbecue Association for uh, almost a year now.
Hey, it's Kevin Coleman, head grill master with Weber. I cannot wait to get up to the north to have the Dixon Smoke Show. Here we're at the American Royal. We're cooking at the World Championships, trying to fine tune the food that we're gonna be making up there for you guys. Unlimited, unlimited opportunity to eat all the great stuff we're gonna be bringing. We've got some of the best coming up there. We've got DivaQ, we've got Tuzi Traeger Nation, we've got Eric, we've got Ted Reeder, the godfather of barbecue up in Canada. We're looking forward to seeing you guys. I can't wait to get up there and make sure you get your tickets now. Dixon Smoke Show, we're all gonna be up there cooking crazy food just for you.